One woman, a typical Russian-speaking Jew from our community, tells me that when her son was young, she was praying that he would grow up to be a good Jew. But when he decided to become observant and went to yeshiva, she started thinking that maybe she prayed too hard. I often hear that we need to find the right balance between the religious and the mundane. People say it's good to be a believer, but not too much. Everything is good in moderation. The only problem is that everyone has his own definition of moderation. Right balance are beautiful sounding words, but they are completely subjective. For one person, right balance will be here, and for another person, here. One will come to a synagogue once a year, and he will say that this is the right balance between the faith and mundane matters. And the other person will starve and study Torah all day, and he will say that this is the right balance. If you don't like someone's lifestyle, just say that he doesn't have the right balance. No one can prove you wrong because there's no definition of this right balance anywhere. If you want really to find the right balance mathematically, then you need to spend uh, half of your day devoted to spirituality and half of your day to material matters. You spend eight hours a day at work, then come to our synagogue to study Torah for eight hours. Is this the right balance? 50-50. And if not, is 60-40 the right balance or 80-20? Whatever these percentages would be, their problem is that balance never allows you to use 100% of the material world and 100% of the spiritual world. Therefore, Hasidic teachings offer a completely different approach. The Torah says that everything around us has both a material and a spiritual side. We need to use both of them in their entirety. We need to live 100% in the physical world and 100% in the spiritual world. This is not a question of balance, but whether I see the spiritual potential of every material thing and the physical side, the practical side of every religious idea. If I look at my business only, and exclusively as a worldly project, and I do not try to find spirituality in it, then I use only half of its potential. My office might be given to me that I can put up a mezuzah at the door there and keep other mitzvot related to my work and so on. If I study the Torah and I do not look for its practical application, then I use only half of its potential. The Torah does not have only a spiritual side, but also a practical one. It is given to me in order to be applied at work and at home. Things that have only one side of the two, interestingly, interestingly enough, are forbidden to us. For example, if something is kosher, but it is a poison, that means that it has only a spiritual side, but doesn't have a physical one, and I'm not allowed to eat it. If there is a very healthy piece of food, but it is not kosher, that means it has only the physical side and doesn't have a spiritual one. And it is also prohibited to us. We are allowed to eat and use in our lives only the things that have both physical 
and spiritual side to them because we have to use 100% of everything we consume. Do not try to look for a balance between the physical and the spiritual, between religion and mundane matters. Try to use 100% of each one of them in your life.